All right, what's up, guys? We got a, another team death match here on Afghan. Um, I think I'm using the ACR on this one. But yeah, uh, man, today, man, I've been having a lot of problems. With my computers and shit, trying to trying to upload my videos. Uh, I don't know. I got this Dell laptop. It keeps overheating on your boy. So, like, I'll be sitting here trying to render one of the videos to get them ready to get uploaded and. Boom, my computer turned off because it's want to fucking overheat and then, I don't know, shit like that's pissing me off and my internet's fucking tripping. I fucking upload a video, get 90% my way there and then my internet wants to turn off on me and kill everything. So, I don't know, I should have had like at least three or four more videos up by now. I'm hoping I'll be able to get this one up today. I just turned on my AC inside the house and... I'm sitting my laptop on top of the AC vent. I'm hoping that that helps, even though it's still running kind of hot. Anyways, yeah. Uh, basically, I'm using ACR, Stopping Power, Scavenger Pro, uh, Ninja Pro, of course. That's, that's my main third perk. Uh, you always want to see a boy rocking chop on Ninja Pro. Just for the simple fact, I don't like anybody else hearing my footsteps. And I got these fancy Triton headsets, and I, I like to use them to my advantage. Uh, there, there's some Triton headsets and 5.1 surround sound, so it's like basically I got a 5.1 surround sound system on my head. <laughs> so it made me feel like I'm in the game. But uh, uh, yeah, I like I like the I like Scavenger that you can refill your grenades. I just don't like that you can refill your claymores. I think you know that that's just a, a camper's dream. Be able to keep refilling claymores. I mean, when this game first came out, when I was first using Scavenger, I was, no joke, dude. I got like 20 kills. Like, I wish I was recording. Now. I got like 20 kills. <laughs> For real. 20 kills just using Claymore as a Scavenger. I nuked them doing it, too. And then, you know, they tried to put on their lightweight and they command up. But, you know, my, my quick uh, fix to that is I'll go ahead and pull out that good A12. AA-12 or three round you with the FAMAS, the M16, whatever. That's why those are my favorite guns, just because they're, I call them commando stoppers. It's a big reason why I don't really use the ACR anymore. Because a lot of people tend to commando runs right through your ACR when you're sitting there spraying them down, which makes no sense. I think that's why I like War to War a lot, just because the, the knife range in that is real, it's, it's not far at all, and the recovery time for the knife is, is excellent, so like if you knife, you accidentally knife and miss a guy, like your gun's going to come back in your hand, boom, like that, I, that's, uh, that's what I really like about it. <clears throat> Let's see, uh, I don't really, uh, I don't really play a lot of ground war anymore, just because I don't know, it seems like if I don't pull a host on Ground Wars, it's just going to be a lag fest. And I play with a lot of people online, like I got a lot of friends on my friends list. From all over the world, really. And I, I play with those guys. Check, hold on, check this Martyrdom out, though. Didn't they say they fixed the physics where the Martyrdom was supposed to roll down the hill? Well, I was running uphill right there, and that shit still fucking hit me. It don't don't make sense. That's, that's what me and my boy was talking about, like, the martyrdoms on this game, it, it still follow you just like the old game. So they didn't fix that shit. Just like my, uh, Infinity, Infinity War didn't fix a lot of shit. So, I mean, if, yeah, in my book, fuck them dudes. I mean, this this game is decent, but I just think they, it it feels rushed to me. Like, it don't feel like all the old Call of Duty games like COD4 and World at War. You can tell they really took their time. You know, they, they had a lot of pride in what they were doing with it. But, uh. I mean, I don't know. On this one, it feels rushed. They feel like they don't really... They say they listen to to the community. I say they halfway listen to them. I mean, I heard about that new Bare Bones playlist that they got on the Xbox. I'm, I'm guessing it's going to to come on this one also when they come out with the new map packs. Well, me, myself, I'm not buying the new map packs. I, I refuse to, uh, to support Infinity Ward anymore just because I... I wouldn't say I was so disappointed with this game. I was just more disappointed in the uh, the support that they didn't give to this game that that they are pumping out. I mean, they got all the marketing in the world, but couldn't get 
uh, good developer support. I mean, but hey, what can you do? I still play it. I have fun with it. Just certain shit up in the game kind of pissed me off. Anyways, yeah, I'm looking forward to Black Ops, though, man. It's, can't wait for that game to come out. I'm still playing a lot of World at War nowadays because, I don't know, Modern Warfare is getting kind of old for you, boy. But anyways, yeah, I'm working this side right here because they kind of got us pinned down over here. I, I know that they're all over there by the, the tail end of the broken AC-130. So you see, I run over to this little spot. I call it my cut spot. Look up through this little crack, and it's a great way to get people that's sitting on the cliff. Seemed like I was getting a lot of hit markers out here. But yeah, I would have to say, like, this has to be one of my favorite favorite maps on World of, I mean, not World of War, but Modern Warfare 2. Just because it's, to me, it's set up both ways. It's set up for a person to run and gun. I mean, you can camp if you want to. I'm not a big camper, but I just, I like maps where it's more diverse. Like, you can do whatever. And that's what I feel like uh, when they were designing the World at War maps. That's what it feel like. Like, it feel like in those maps you could do what you want to. But, you know, when they came out with this, when they made maps like Derail and stuff, like, to be honest, Derail could be a World at War map just for the simple fact that, uh, that map is big enough to have tanks in it, you know what I mean? But, uh, I don't know, everybody cried about the tanks. Me, myself, I love the tanks just because I call myself a tank buster. Come through with my satchel charges and blow your shit up if you think you're going to tank her on me, partner. Ain't no tank horn. Oh, yeah, I'm going to have some World at War videos up, too. Uh, once I get these computers acting right, that's a lot of reason why I upload stuff at nighttime because, you know, it's summertime and my house isn't as hot, so... My laptop isn't overheating, and I don't know, I guess it's less people on the internet, so my internet runs a little faster, I'm able to upload games a little faster. It's part of the reason why I think I like playing at nighttime, too, because I play on a DSL connection, and when it's not a lot of people, when I guess you get a better connection, at least that's what I've seen. It seems like, to me, I get a better connection during the day, and that's what this game is all about, is connection. If, if you got a sucky connection, uh, I, I really feel for you, because... This this game would be not fun. I played this game with one of my friends' house, and he if you if you play at his house, you're guaranteed a one bar. I don't I don't care what you do. <laughs> you're guaranteed a one bar connection just because internet sucks, and then everybody's just gonna own you unless you sit back and camp. Like I I wouldn't even say M16. Like you have to camp like an M4. So I'm not got a kind of high fire way. We can get somebody from a distance. The ACR work cool too, but I mean, who really wants to play like that? I, I like running up, you know, and doing my thing. Anyways, show boy Rock and Shop with a little TDM, Ground War style. Uh, go ahead, rate, comment, subscribe, whatever you want to do. Uh, I appreciate it. All right, later.